Today we're going to be making strawberry shortcake characters in The Sims 4. If you don't know what strawberry shortcake is, it's a show about a girl named strawberry shortcake who goes on lots of adventures with her pets cat and dog and her other friends, all of whom have names based off of sweets. They did come out with a lot of different versions of the show, but today I'm going to be going off of the 2003 version. I just really liked how different their outfits were. So here are our sims for today. I already have all of the ones we're going to be making. As you can see, all of the characters' faces are the same. Obviously, they do this a lot in shows, so I did the same thing with my sims. But anyway, let's get started with the one and only Strawberry Shortcake. This is what she looks like. Strawberry Shortcake is an open-minded girl. She's friendly, fun, and kind, and she really likes to help out, so I gave her the good, the outgoing, and the cheerful trait as well as this aspiration. Obviously we need like a shorter hairstyle that looks kind of spiky and bushy-ish. I have found the one. This one is perfect. It is super spiky down here and she's got some bangs so this works but we can't just give her hair. She needs a hat and I'm thinking of doing this one. Ooh, this color is even better actually because she has the red band around the hat which is really cute. I already gave her a little bit of blush and I'm gonna give her some clear gloss because the characters aren't really wearing makeup. This is a really good top. I've searched everywhere and I actually can't find anything else that's like striped. She's wearing like some very baggy jeans. And something I notice is that the bottom here is like kind of crinkled up as if they're too big on her, which is something I do want to replicate with the Sim. There we go, that looks nice. And I know just the thing to give her this. I do have it in this color, but it's just like too much. We'll do this one instead, even though it's like patterned. Strawberry Shortcake has got some socks and these yellow flats on, which is really cute. I'm gonna go for these Crocs, which are so adorable. If you look closely, there's a little strawberry on them. And it looks similar to the shoes she's wearing. Finally, I'm gonna do her nails in this strawberry design. I just, I have to. And that is it for Strawberry Shortcake. I think she turned out adorable. Moving on to Angel Cake. This is she. She is like the town's baker. She loves baking cakes and she has manners. She's very proper, but she often takes forever and gets really stuck on tiny little details. So I gave her the perfectionist trait, the proper trait, and the foodie trait, and the chef aspiration. We need curly hair. And I really really want to give her pigtails. Oh my goodness, this hair is perfect. It is so cute. Oh no, this sucks. Why does this happen with the cute hairs? I really should have known because the pigtails are actually quite high up. That is extremely disappointing. We need the hat. This is such a big part of her character. I mean, I guess we could go for a ponytail instead. I think if we get everything else kind of down, then you can still tell it is angel cake. So let's check out the overalls we have here. The issue is that the colors don't really match. We are saved. I just found these overalls and I'm thinking of doing like an undershirt that is the correct color, kind of like this. And I'm pretty sure that this is the top that's supposed to go with these overalls. And I think I wanna change the color of the hat to this darker purple. For the shoes, Angel Cake is also wearing some socks and flats, but I think I'll just go with these purple sneakers for her. Let's give her clear gloss and do her nails in this very pastel yellow color. And that is it for Angel Cake. I think she came out adorable. Next up, we are gonna be doing Orange Blossom, one of my favorite characters. I love her design and her personality. She is very sporty. She likes the earth a lot. She likes gardening. And she's a very loyal friend, so I gave her the loyal trait, the loves the outdoors trait, and the active trait. Orange Blossom runs her own juice stand in Strawberry Land. 
and she is a juicer. She's really good at it. So I gave her the expert nectar maker aspiration. I already have a hair in mind. This one is really cute. As for the hat, I think this one is the most similar, but of course, I kind of expected this would happen again. I mean, these buns should be able to show. I just hate the way it looks. Okay, you know what? Maybe we don't need to have buns. Maybe we'll leave her hair out. This looks so cute. For the pants, she's wearing like some cargo ones. I'm gonna go with these because they've got the pockets and they're a nice color as well. And of course, we need to search for the orange sweater. Unfortunately, this is the closest thing to the sweater she's wearing. However, there's no way I'm gonna let her wear this because I mean, it's just so plain. We've also got this sweater right here. We've got this one and this one. However, I am gonna go for this because these things on the collar look like oranges to me and this orange color just looks so much nicer. I wanna do her nails in yellow and for the shoes, I think those are brown sneakers. I just can't really tell, obviously. So we can go with these right here. Let's give her some clear gloss. And I have the urge to give her earrings because there's not much going on up here. These are cute. Ooh! Okay, I'm gonna go for these little sunflower ones. They're just so adorable. And that is it for Orange Blossom. I think she turned out so pretty. Next up is Ginger Snap. Ginger Snap is an inventor. She is very cheerful. She's energetic. She is like very hyper. She loves making things. So I gave her the genius, the maker, and the cheerful trait, as well as the master maker aspiration. Ginger Snap has got really short black ponytails, so honestly, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to find a hair like that. Maybe this? That's so cute. Oh my god, yes. This is perfect. I know we're missing the bangs, but I'm happy with this. I know we're gonna have a really hard time with the hat. There is this one. I'm not the biggest fan of it though. I guess we can go with another bucket hat. And while we're here, let me just give her some clear gloss. So the top she's wearing looks like some sort of button-up, or it could be a jean jacket. For some reason, I cannot find the jean jacket I have in my game, so I'm just gonna go with this top. I mean, it pretty much looks like what she's wearing anyway. I'm going in with this undershirt. And now for the pants, I mean, we could just go with these right here. They look fine. Yep, I'll just go with those. So Ginger Snap is also wearing socks underneath her flats, which is very funny because I, I don't know, it looks cute. I, I notice it's a trend in this show. However, I'm really struggling to find the color we need. There's this one, but it's a little bit too vibrant. Ah, here we go. These work. And we can go with these loafers, I guess. I was checking the flats, but there's no indication go color here. Let's do her nails in this pinkish purple color. And I gave her these crescent moon earrings since apparently she's also very into astronomy. And that is it for Ginger Snap. She turned out pretty cute. I was scared for this one, I'm not gonna lie, but pretty cute. And last but not least, let's work on Huckleberry Pie. Huckleberry Pie looks like this. He is, I'm pretty sure, the only male character in this show. He's sporty, he's adventurous, He's very brave. So I gave him the self-assure trait, the adventurous trait, and the active trait. And I just gave him the extreme sports enthusiast because I honestly don't know what else to give him. First up, let's work on the hair. He's definitely got a lot of side bang. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these hairs could definitely work for Huckleberry Pie. I guess the hat is the determining factor, so let me put a hat on him already. Interesting. We've also got this one. I think I'll go with this one since it's the most similar. So he is wearing a button up and like a vest. Ugh, I don't really like this one. There's this one. I think that's the closest we'll get, no? Actually,
actually, here we go. Yep, I'm gonna go with this one right here. He's wearing some blue cargo pants. We've got a lot of those. I think I'm leaning towards these right here. These are a little bit too tight. Lastly, from what I can tell, he's wearing some black sneakers. So I'll just pop these on him. And that is it for Huckleberry Pie. I think he turned out quite cute. And that is also it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I had so much fun making these sims. Comment down below which one was your favorite. As always, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you later.